Imagine going outside and looking up to see the moon in a way that you've never experienced it before. That's exactly what's going to happen for many of us on the night of May 15th into the early morning of May 16th. As the sun, earth, and moon line up for what we call a total lunar eclipse. I'm Michael Martin, and in this video, we're going to walk through everything that you need to know to go out to see and experience this event. If you enjoy this video, please like it and subscribe to this channel. But most importantly, let me know about any questions that you may have and your experience out seeing this total lunar eclipse in the comment section below. Now before we get to the specifics of when and where you can see it, Let's start by understanding what exactly is going to go on in this eclipse. Now, when these events occur, the moon moves into the shadow of the Earth, culminating in the moon turning a blood red color due to the light from the sun being filtered a certain way through our atmosphere as it strikes the lunar surface. So who can go out and see this incredible event? Well, let's take a look at this world map. This total lunar eclipse on the night of May 15th and the early morning of May 16th is going to be best viewed from North, Central, and South America. But also parts of Europe and Africa will get to enjoy it as well. This is one of those events in astronomy that doesn't require any equipment whatsoever to go out and enjoy. But if you do have a cell phone or a DSLR camera, I would encourage you to go out every five or 10 minutes, especially once the darkest portion of the Earth's shadow starts to move across the lunar surface to document the experience and to share it with friends and family. If you'd like to share it with me, please follow me over on Instagram at Late Night Astronomy and tag me in any images that you're able to take of the event. I'd love to see what you're able to get out and shoot of this total lunar eclipse. If you live on the east coast of the United States, plan on going out to see it beginning around 10.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, when the darkest part of the Earth's shadow begins to make its way across the lunar surface. The culmination of this will be totality around 11.30 p.m., when the moon will be darkened and will slowly begin to turn a blood red color with the maximum eclipse occurring around 12.11 a.m. If you were able to experience or image any part of this total lunar eclipse, please let me know in the comments section below or share your image with me over on Instagram. Thank you all so much for your continued support and clear skies from late night astronomy.